It's uh, Chacho. It's Chacho. It's okay. <laughs> um, so I'm running for state supreme court. It, it's an eight district, eight county district from Steuben all the way up to Cayuga and Wayne County, and then Monroe, Livingston, Seneca, Yates, and Ontario, and Livingston. So it's a big district, and I've covered most of the district several times. A couple times down here, I've been to Corning actually a couple times, and I have a really unique campaign strategy, wherever Barbara and Tracy go, I go. Okay. And I meet lots of people that way. And then the other two candidates, uh, Nate McMurray and Dana Balter, are generating similar levels of interest. And of course, Joe Morelli in Monroe, filling in Louise Slaughter's seat, has also got a campaign that is in high gear. So this, is, as Sean said, it's something that I've never seen, or I haven't seen in a long time. Now, I'm old enough to have seen some other seminal events in Democratic history. My dad was a Democratic leader in Arundaquite, so 1961 was a big year in Arundaquite. 1974 was a big year after uh, Nixon uh, was almost impeached and resigned. Um, 1986, at the end of Reagan's term, was a big year in Monroe County. We elected a Democratic County Executive. Louis Slaughter won that year. So these kind of years come along every so often. This is as big as any of those. Okay. Obviously, we know what the stakes are in terms of getting Democrats into Congress. And the stakes are big for getting Democrats in, into the judiciary as well. Somebody like me and some of my Democratic colleagues, we have we share Democratic values. And those Democratic values that we seek to put on the bench are values that affect thousands of people's lives every year. Um, we make decisions about custody and child support and bail and sentencing and verdicts and landlord-tenant issues. So it's important to get Democratic values onto the bench. And those values are simply respect for the law and applying the law as it's written, not applying some ideological formulaic basis in making determinations, the dignity of the individuals that come before us, treating everybody the same without regard to wealth, status, race, gender, uh, or ethnic uh, origin, and simply integrity in, in how hard we work and what we bring to the job. And, and you know, in following these two candidates, we can't endorse candidates. That's one of our ethics rules, but uh, just speaking objectively, because I'm very objective, right? I have found Tracy and Barbara to be so thoughtful, so well informed, uh, and so committed to the work that they're going to bring to their respective uh, legislative bodies. So uh, I want to thank you for all the work that you've been doing. It, it, you know, there's a wave, and, and sometimes you sit there and you drive down and say, is it really happening? I don't know if it's really, is it really going to happen? If I get out there and work, am I wasting my time? You're not wasting your time, okay? It is going to make a difference for every person that you bring to the polls, for every uh, Facebook page that you share, and I'm on Facebook in a very big way. So the more that you share that with your friends, the more the word gets out. Um, we did it in Pittsburgh last year, and Pittsburgh is going to carry Barbara, okay? Um, I guarantee it. And Pittsburgh did it last year. Uh, we had a town election. We usually get about 2,700 votes. We got 4,700 votes for town board election. We, we won two seats. Hasn't happened in Pittsburgh history. Okay, next year we're going to win the whole town board. We're going to elect a supervisor. The Republicans get their base out, it seems. Okay, um, that, that solid core that comes in off, in off your elections. But we got 2,000 more votes. Those are 2,000 probably a lot more Dems that came out, and we got out the blanks and the independents that made a big difference in the election. I'm sure that we flipped a number of Republicans, too, just as Tracy's going to flip a number of Republicans, and Barbara's going to flip another, a number of Republicans in their respective districts. So it's happening, and it started last year, and it's going to continue on to this year. I feel it in all the eight counties that I've traveled to throughout this election. So thank you for whatever work you're doing out there, um, and I uh, hope to get down here another couple times, but uh, Steuben, I practiced many, many years uh, in state and federal court, and Steuben was a place where I got a lot of referrals out of the Argentieri family, Schultz and Schultz, uh, some of the other uh, attorneys here would refer me cases, so I know <coughs> Steuben pretty well, and uh, I've been in, in Steuben, in fact, I was assigned a few cases earlier this year and uh, that Peter Bradstreet couldn't handle, so I've been in Steuben County Court many, many times, and I hope to get assigned down here if I get elected, actually, I've offered to volunteer to travel from Pittsburgh down here to handle some of the conflicts that are going to arise if either Chauncey watches or Matt McCarthy wins that election because they're going to have to be con conflicted out of some cases. So uh, I, I love Steuben County. Been here many, many times, and thank you for all your support. Thank you. Thank you.